Hey everybody, Justin Sainer here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to handle returns like a pro in Shopify. We're gonna be talking about setting up a return and exchange program, and you really need to set up a good system here because this is gonna create very happy customers. And if you wanna build a long-term brand, obviously you need to have very happy customers that are going to love your brand, review your brand, and having a good return system is part of that. And I'll admit, customer returns are not the sexiest topic, but they are super important. And again, we wanna build a long-term brand. We're gonna need fair and honest return policies, exchange policies, and a really popular strategy for Shopify store owners is to automate as much of the customer return and exchange process as possible. We wanna make this as easy as possible, not only for our customers, but for ourselves in terms of uh, the actual operations and processes around returns and exchanges. And you'll notice that there's no good way to do this with Shopify. You're gonna to need to use an app. Shopify came out with a new attempt to do this. It's very clunky, it doesn't work well, not very uh, customer friendly or user friendly. And the bottom line is you need a returns app that is super simple to use, easy to install and require no prior experience in terms of returns or exchanges, right? You don't need to have 10 years of merchandising experience here to use this app. And the app must be automated, that's the key. We want to make this a painless process for the store owner and for the customer. So it's all about automating as much of it as possible. And that's why you're gonna to wanna to use Returns app. You see the link directly below this video. Returns app is what I use, what I highly recommend. And it's probably the best return management app in the Shopify app store. You see the link directly below this video. Here's that app right here actually, right inside of Shopify. Return Zap, Returns Management. You see that 14 day free trial. They got five out of five star reviews on over 35 reviews. This is gonna allow you to automate returns and save tons of time, tons of frustration, it even integrates with shipping labels. There's a whole portal here that customers are gonna be able to access. It's incredibly powerful and everything is kind of built into this app. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step over the shoulder, but literally be able to integrate everything from one return dashboard, whether it's choosing items to return uh, integrating with different shipping carriers. Really, it's kind of thought of thought of every combination. And you can create these really custom rules, over 25 different conditions, to create really the ultimate return policy based on so many different scenarios, products, right? They have if-then logic. So you can really, really figure out exactly how to build that fair, honest, customer-friendly return policy and make it very easy for, again, not only the customer, but you, because they're gonna have all these custom workflows and approvals and ability for a customer to kind of go in there automatically and have everything taken care of. So really highly recommended. You're gonna see it in action now. All you need to do is press the add app button. This is gonna add returns app into your store. We're gonna go over the shoulder now and I'm gonna show you more. Okay, now we are inside of returns app after we installed the app and we're gonna be able to go through a little onboarding here. When you get in, this will be a little quick setup and we'll walk through here. We're gonna be able to kind of pick and choose which return methods we want to make available. And this is totally up to our own return policy, how we want to build our business. We can do refunds, right? Obviously we just issue a refund. We can have exchanges and you see that we could have multiple options selected as well. You see that there's going to be a default time of 30 days from delivery. You'll be able to specify that window, but just in general, talking about 30 day refund, 30 day exchange, 30 day store credit. Let's say you don't want to deal with refunds, right? You're just only going to offer exchanges or store credit. You could set it up this way. You could select everything if you want as well. Over here, I'm gonna select refund and exchange. We're gonna go into the next step over here. We have different shipping options over here. Of course, we uh, really basically depend on how our policy is gonna go. And a really cool thing with the standard and the pro levels of this app, you get to actually have prepaid shipping labels. So something like Amazon, right, when they just give you a label to use, prepaid, right, this would be an option that we'd be able to turn on for those standard and pro level plans. Highly recommended you jump onto the pro. Over here, right, paying for shipping labels, so they can purchase their own label over here or they can self-ship, basically get information in terms of how they're gonna be able to return the product. Let's say we only want them to deal with self-shipping, we could set it up this way, or in this case, we'll give them multiple options. Now over here, we have approval, right? Are the refunds or returns in this case, are they going to be immediately approved, right? So we're gonna have basically a automatic, okay, customer-wise, you're gonna return and start the process and it's going to be approved. If we have manual review, then of course we need to, you know, as the name implies, manually approve these returns, right? Again, up to your store policy. Do you want to accept all returns no matter what? 
or maybe there are some cases where you need to make sure, let's say the package isn't opened or the uh, piece of apparel hasn't been worn, right? Go into manual review, but I'm gonna go over here to immediate. Again, another shout out over there for the pro plan standard as well. You could have some uh, kind of smart exceptions here where it's a combination of manual and immediate. Coming over here, now we're gonna just have our information over here. This is gonna be basically your store information for returns, okay? So if you're using a warehouse or a fulfillment center that handles returns, you'll put their information over there. You wanna include everything here, including phone number over here. And uh, if you're on, again, that pro plan or the standard plan, you'll be able to have multiple uh, return shipping addresses. You can even route them based on vendor. But we're gonna just uh, complete our setup over here, making sure that we have our return address here in this information, of course. Again, return where the products should be sent. Then all you need to do is come down here and press finish. So really simple onboarding here. And of course, it gave us a lot of options and we were able to kind of pick and choose based on the um, feeling that we want to have in terms of our return and exchange policy. Now, you can make the argument for accepting all returns or accepting only exchanges or only doing store credit, right? You could test these out. You saw just how easy it is and you could always come back into settings, change all of your settings over here, including notifications and all the workflows, return reasons, which is cool, so you can start getting information about why products are returned. But what I wanna show you is the actual portal over here. So we'll click try and customize. And this is gonna allow us to actually kind of see how everything is gonna look and feel. So first of all, we're going to customize the look of our portal. See that it's in test mode over here. Again, no notifications or labels are gonna be created, but you can just kind of use test information here to uh, kind of figure everything out. So first and foremost, we have our uh, sections over here for customization. And you see we have, uh, of course, auto detect is gonna just find your language based on your Shopify store. And there's light and dark themes over here. So really kind of just depending on how your brand looks, what your brand is like. Coming over here, we can even select a brand color. It's kind of more like that. So we add that, we have brand color contrast, right, it's gonna be basically the button color over here. We have everything over here in terms of text colors and font families, but you could set them all individually if you didn't want them to just inherit. But the whole idea about inheriting is just gonna basically make it match. And here you see it in action. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the uh, email address of a sample order and the order number, and you click search. This is exactly how the customer is going to uh, go through this return and exchange process. They'll go to the return page, enter their email, the order number, and they click search. And they're gonna see all their orders. And of course, they'll see the information about what they ordered. And now we have the return section over here. So when they click return, they're gonna be brought into this option set. And of course, we set these earlier, right? We talked about the return options in terms of refund exchange. And if we turned off refund, of course, that wouldn't be here on this screen. So the customer is gonna walk through here and say, okay, I will exchange or I will refund. Going over here in terms of reasons, we can customize this. We'll say uh, damage or defective. And we can put in additional comments here. Maybe they say uh, the uh, toy broke in shipment or something like that, right? They'll give a reason. We'll be able to see all this. Then they click continue. Now we're gonna have the information about shipping and here are the options. Why are these the options? Because we set these, right? So you review your refund type, you review the comments, you select your shipping method so we can pay for printable shipping label. We can ship myself in either one of these. In this case, we'll be able to check postage rates. Over here, we'll be able to just ship it ourselves. A lot of people are gonna take this option and then they'll click submit return. Very simple over here. You now have an RMA and we also have the ability to see everything and track this based on, you see a very simplistic RMA number based on the order number. So here's our RMA number. This is what they're doing. They could actually go back right into the return, uh, the return portal over here by clicking start another return or they can download shipping label. And you're gonna see that this is all the information and the address of where it needs to be sent, right? So not exactly a shipping label in this case, this is the return authorization slip. If they purchased the label, they would be downloading and printing it out over here in this case as well. But they're gonna, in, in terms of this example, choose to ship it back themselves. You see all they need to do is just put that address on the package, mail back uh, with the slip, and uh, really as simple as that. It's incredibly easy for the customer. That's the whole point here, right? We simply just direct them into their order or into our return uh, portal. They enter their email, they enter their order number, click search, right? Now over here, in this case, this is basically them seeing the status, right? This item has already been returned. If they need to reprint that form, we go right over here and reprint that form, right? So very, very intuitive. A lot of people will just add a return section over here or into the footer navigation or even into your FAQs. You could link it in there, sending them right into this portal 
where they're then able to basically do everything themselves. And you can imagine how much time is saved by allowing customers to do this automatically, even all the way down to printing out the label and shipping it back to you. So incredibly powerful. And we can come back over here into settings. You have all of the different configurations over here, like being able to offer refunds or not, how many days you want to allow for refunds. Say you only want it to be three weeks, right? We can go over here to 21 days. If we wanted to change it, we can go all the way up to, I don't know, 60 days, right? We could do whatever we want here. If we want to offer store credit and have no more refunds, we could do that as well with this combination. So we have full control over everything. Of course, you could add new reasons. Um, let's say it's uh, apparel and you say um, doesn't fit well, you know, or uh, material too uncomfy, right? Whatever you want. You can get some good information for your own self to start figuring out what's wrong with your product if you're getting a lot of returns. So a lot of different options here under settings, right? Of course, notifications as well. Understanding when people are going to actually get notifications about returns and things like that. So it's a good way to just kind of be transparent and really not only does this make your life easier, but it's going to build the goodwill of your brand because people are going to have a much easier time interacting with something like returns app for the returns portal than having to email or call support and explain themselves and beg for a return, right? Everything happens all inside here. You can even set up these really cool rules where you'll be able to actually kind of go ahead and prevent items from being returned or kind of create different scenarios that you have full control of right inside of your settings. So it's really, really powerful. You'll start to see all of your returns come through here when you uh, kind of first open the app over here. And then of course you go into the settings, but really it's all about the portal, right? This uh, customer facing portal, you see all of my colors match, everything matches to theme. And you saw step-by-step -step how I set it up, really just allow the return zap app to inherit the styles of your store. Same colors, buttons, outlines, everything, right? Just fits right in immediately. And this could happen with your store in just a couple minutes as well. Incredibly powerful app. Again, just take a look at the link directly below this video. So that was Returns app. As you saw, incredibly powerful, but also very, very easy to use. And you're going to save time, your own time and your customer's time. You're going to build those happy customers. You're going to be able to have full control. You saw just how detailed we can get full control over your return and exchange process in this fully customizable portal. Highly recommended. You see the link directly below this video. Get this into your store, and I hope this helps you grow your business. Talk to you soon. Thanks.